With this video, we want to take a look at adding the second hard drive to DC1 in our our plan for our our um, our network. We we're asking for a second hard drive for DC1 and a second hard drive for uh, RTR. And we didn't discuss this in class because I hadn't done it yet, but it turns out it's pretty easy to do. So let's do. So I right clicked and I went to settings and we've got our our inventory here and much like Hyper-V we go to add and we get our choice of additional hardware to add and we're going to add a hard disk going to create a new virtual disk okay some options there the thick provisioning is uh, where it, it, it allocates all of the space and we're asking for 30 gigabytes let's go ahead and drop this down Okay. Thin provisioning would would be equivalent to our dynamic disk, and and for a a second or backup hard drive, that would actually be a better choice. So I'm going to go ahead and select that, and I'll update our handout. Either way, the process is the same. Now down here is where we get to pick the data store where we want to put this disk, and for DC one, the D drive, the 30 gigabyte D drive, is asked to go on to the iSCSI data store. So we'll go ahead and select that. All right, looks good. Okay. And there we go. All righty, well, I'm going to pause the video, and then I'll start it back up, and we'll go inside of DC1 and take a look at what that second hard drive looks like. All right, so DC1 booted, and I've gone into disk management, and this is uh, just like we would expect. Uh, we'd see the same thing in Hyper-V. We added a drive and it shows up in disk management. We need to import it or put it online. Initialize, okay. There we go. Get our choice on file systems and then create a partition on it. All right, so not a big deal. Uh, just uh, the names are different in, in ESXi as opposed to in uh, Hyper-V. I'll we'll have to come back and change the drive layer. It looks like the DVD drive or something else has got D drive now, but I'll go ahead and finish this up and stop the video and then go change the uh, the drive letter. I'm going to call this backup. That's what the what the drive is intended for. Alrighty, so there we go. So we'll go ahead and, and close this video and and just uh, as a reminder about how to add a second hard drive to any of our ESXi's VMs.